everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I will be demonstrating how to paint um, a daffodil flowers. But before that, I'm going to introduce to you first my materials. I have here my paint palette. I have the titanium white, the tallow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the lamp black. So you always observe guys that I'm always using limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay. And these are my brushes. I will be using these four brushes, guys. I have here the number 11 flat brush, um, nylon and long handle, and number 8 nylon flat brush, long handled, number 9 uh, nylon flat brush, short handled, and number 1 liner brush for the details. Okay, and this is my canvas, guys. It's um, 10 by uh, 8 by 10 inches it has 3 of prime watt acrylic and you observe guys I have only really, really the sketch here I will provide to you the, the, the traceables or the or a reference photo of this um, tutorial guys or this painting you can get it to my channel you can download it from there and I have a chalk guys um, for the sketching and I already have a a dark background for the painting so that we we don't use we don't um, waste our time making the backgrounds as I did it on my previous flower painting okay so and water guys to thin the paint and water spray guys if ever we need this to to soften our the surface of our, of our painting and you can do the um, you can create the strokes um, easily okay so i think i'm going to start now and but first guys i'm going to cover the the, the painting first the drawing first with the white um background so i'll paint it with white first guys before i'm gonna i'm going to to have the details um because we have um the reason guys is because um the color of the of the of the the fiddles, um are yellow and it's really hard to paint um, yellow guys since I am using um, the the student grade acrylics so it will be hard for, for me to, to, to paint directly using the yellow color so I need to paint white first on the on the on the flowers before I'm going to add the yellow colors so that will be um, that that will be the first step we're going to do to achieve the pretty bright colors of our flowers of the yellow flowers okay so I have here the white color so here so let's get paint it all with white so don't worry guys if you're covering all the the sketch that you you did in the um, previously in just remember all all the details you um, on your flower so I think I'm going to add some a little amount of yellow guys so that the flower will turn out to be um, yellowish there I think I am done with my first step guys but I think I'm going to add more uh, I think one more coat later but I'm going to, I'm gonna do it off cam so I will my plan guys is to add more one more coat one more coat um, to make the white color um, solid okay so that will that will um, that will be the plan that I'm gonna do later on so Okay, so that's what that, that will be the first step, guys. And, uh, and add one more coat, and we're gonna do the, the details later. 
Okay guys, so I think the paint is already dry now and I'm going to start adding the, the details and the second coats. Oh no, the, I mean the, the the shadings. And I already added um, the second coat of the white guys or the yellowish um, white color. Okay. So, but we need to clean first the chalk. So we need to, to, to erase, it, erase it first before we're going to proceed. Okay, and by doing that guys, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use this, um, uh, number 9, um, smaller brush guys, flat brush, number 9 flat brush, um, short handled, and yes, um, a nylon visual, uh, a nylon, um, hair, sorry guys, so, by doing that, we need to wet the brush, to the, we need to dip the tip of the brush into the water, to make it wet and we can easily um, erase the the chalk there so I think it's very easy guys erasing the, the chalk just by using adding a little water in our brush and make sure guys the brush your brush has no um, has no what do you call it has no paint on it there so we can easily erase it and just follow what I'm doing guys there So well, it's very clean now. Okay, so next we're going to add the, the details. Okay, so going to do it um little by little, one by one. Okay, so I'm going to add the yellow first, guys. So I'm gonna use this yellow. I'm, I'll be using the same brush, guys. The number nine flat brush, nylon. I'm gonna use this yellow, guys, and we do, we're gonna do a little sketching first. So, so this will be the sketch that we had a while ago. It's there. Um, by using the yellow, guys, um, it won't spoil the colors. There, so we have now, and we can now see clearly the details. No, wait, I'm going to do it here. Something okay, and also this one, you can now see it. Have a little sketch there, and also this one. You can actually use a pencil guys, but do it um, lightly, do not use um, too much um, color, no I mean a uh, pencil. There. Okay, that's it. Next guys, we're going to fill it up with the color. So here, so as we observe guys, we have a very bright yellow on our, on the on our uh, on the daffodil here I like the color guys it's very bright that's why I'm using yellow I uh, know white okay and here let's cover it up with yellow guys there okay and also here, we're gonna need more yellow. There. And again this one. There.
and I'm going to add some white guys on the yellow a little amount of white, just a little amount of white guys there, just a little amount of white and let's paint this with a lighter yellow there We're actually doing a light to dark um, technique guys by um, adding light, the light color first before adding the dark okay so we have now more yellow here Another white and yellow. Yeah. Another one here. Okay guys, we'll just have to fill this up with a, with a lighter yellow color Light yellow color, I mean You can easily erase it with your finger if something If it wins outside the, the, the boundaries Okay some white and yellow just white and yellow guys to fill this color to fill this part I thought I could a special technique I just have to fill the parts with these colors and here also And white again, and yellow, and white. Okay. There. Next, guys, we're gonna mix for an orange. So I will be using this yellow, guys, here with some red. Just yellow and red color. Uh, we're gonna do the shading, guys. We're gonna start doing the shadings. So again, just yellow and red here. More red. There. So 
so we're gonna put it here And I'm using the same brush guys. Okay, that's it. So here also of course we're gonna put some on the top of the I don't know what part of this of the flowers you guys. Okay here. I'm gonna put some shades. There, okay. Yeah. And also here, guys. There. I am going to use some yellow, guys, here to fill this part. To, to to blend the colors. Okay, I'm gonna use some yellow. There. And also the orange color. There. Just have to blend a little here, guys. Okay. And next, guys, we're gonna do some shadings on the on the on the petals. So I think I'm gonna use another brush, a smaller brush, perhaps. So I'm gonna use this brush, guys, the number one liner brush for the petals. So here we're gonna mix for. Um, a little brownish in color, so I'm gonna use this yellow here with some red. There, and I think a little amount of black. There, so I think this is the best color, guys, to create the shades of the of the yellow. There, so just add black, guys, into your into the to the yellow on and red. Just a little amount of red, so we can. So, okay, here I'm gonna add some shades here. There, and also here. gonna clean the edges guys using this color okay we put some white and again some black guys there and also here And here, there. I think the the shading I want to add a little amount of blue on it. There, and some yellow. Just a little amount, guys. Just mix it here to make it a little greenish. It's a little amount of greenish, guys. There. I think we need to spray it with water to make it a little wet. Ok, 
Okay. There. And also here. And next, we're gonna do this. Da. So little by little, guys, we're going to we're going to reveal the the um, this flower. Okay, and here, let's add some shadings, a little amount of shades. Okay. Yeah. And also here. I'm gonna make this part darker. The base. Then let's add some shades. Yeah. And also here guys, I'm gonna put some shades here. Some casted shadows here. There, just, um, just use this color, guys. It's a little greenish. The color is a little greenish. So just add blue to the yellow and red. Okay. And also here. And I think here also. There. So I'm going to add more. So I'm mixing here, guys. The the yellow, blue, and red, and a little amount of black. some shades here and I think here also a little here there and also here Okay, just follow what I'm doing guys if you are painting with me now. Okay, so here. And we need to add I'm going to use this dark color here guys and we need to add some lines here. Some boundary between the two petals. There and also here we're gonna add some boundaries. So that we will know the boundaries of the petals guys. There. And we can add some white to make it lighter. There, we can add some shades and yellow. Just add yellow, guys. There, we can add some shades here. Okay. We need to add some greenish color. Actually guys, this tutorial is not that easy. You need uh, a little more patience to do this tutorial. Okay. Here. Yeah. Okay. more shades here and also here guys I'm going to add some 
line here folding line this cut this petal this particular petal there and this up here some shade see now clearly the, the the flower guys and here is fill this up with the color so I'm gonna I'm gonna mix for a, a little orange color guys so here the red and the yellow we need some black color here okay okay this is a little brownish guys the color Okay, and also this one. There. So as you see, guys, you can see we can now um, it's a little visible now the color of the flower on the shape of the flower, guys. And all you have to do is to add more shades and details. So I'm gonna use this um, red here to create some brown and and black and some more yellow there more yellow and red so it's brown guys so let's add here So just follow what I'm doing guys. Here I'm adding more um, dark tones to the petals. Okay. And here just add more dark tones. Okay, I'm gonna do it later because it's still wet. And also here guys, we can add more dark. There. And some dark line. There. Okay. So I'm going to add more dark tones guys. I think I'm going to extend this part. Okay, what else so here also guys, you can add more tones here, dark shades, I mean. There. And on the base also, you can add a little dark shades here. 
and here also guys I think I need to spray a little bit water okay Okay, where else? Okay, so guys, continue. So I'm gonna mix for under under the orange guys here, and some red, some orange and red. I mean, real on red guys to make it orange. Okay, so I'm going to add a little shades here, orange shades. There. And now I'm gonna I'm going to use a bigger brush guys. Okay, I'm using this brush guys, it's a bigger. So I'm I'm going to mix for a darker color. I'm going to use the black, the red, and the yellow. And a little amount of blue here. More yellow. Add more shades here, guys. Darker shades. There. And here also. I'm going to add a little blue on it. to spray it with a little water guys to make it wet okay here there and here also There, so I have dark shades, and on the other one, there. So here, guys, can add more dark. I'm gonna add some blue color to make it greenish. And you can spray it with the, right, with the fingers. And I'm gonna add some white here. I need to add some color here. No, I'm gonna add some yellow, guys. There. It's a casted shadow, guys. Okay. There. Here, let's add more. Let's add more casted shadow here. And also on the other one. This one. There. Okay, so I'm gonna mix for a green color, guys. I use the blue here with some yellow. And let's add some stock here. There. Yeah. Okay. And also here, guys. So and also other here. You don't have to make it clear, guys. Just uh, just um, place it 
um, on the background okay here also Okay, I'm going to add some white text, add some highlights there and here. Okay, and also, guys, I'm going to add some. I'm going to mix for on a brown. Just red and black and yellow with a little amount of white and red. Some yellow here. Let's put some brown here and also here. Okay. And so some shades of here, there. Okay, I think I'm almost done. But I mean, not not yet. It's, I still have more to to add. Okay, so let's add. Let's um start adding the highlights, guys. So we need to clean your brush first. Okay. So I'm gonna use this white guys, the pure pure white here. There. So let's add more highlights here. There. Just a few strokes, do not overdo it. There. And I think here also. There. Just a few highlights, guys. There. And also here. Other one here. Okay, here also. There. So I'm going to uh, mix it with white, with yellow, guys, to make it uh, la uh, yellowish. Okay, here. There. And also here. And so some white. And here also, so I am going to blend this part, guys, with a little yellowish in color. There, and here also. Okay, and also here on the got some yellow in there. Just some yellow here. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna add more yellow. Yellow and orange, guys. Yellow and red. Okay, it's a little orange, but I'm going to add some white. There. More yellow. So here I'm going to blend some color guys here. There. And of course here guys. To make this part a little orange. There. 
and here. There. And of course some dark orange here guys. There. And here also. Okay. What else? So I think I'm going to add more. Add more lights or shades. Okay, I'm going to use this brush guys, the number number one liner brush and some yellow here and white. Okay, and let's add some pollen here, pollen green. Inside the flower. There. I think I'm going to to retouch some parts so I'm gonna use this orange guys here just a red and yellow and this retouch here to make this part darker some some yellow there Okay, what else? So I think we're going to add more. Going to add more uh, blue guys on the brown color. Oh, yeah, blue. And I'm going to make some part darker here. There. And here also guys, this make sure this part is dark. I'm going to add some blue color. Blue and red. With a little amount of yellow. There. And also here. Also here, guys, the the casted shadow of, of this um, petal. Oh no, this yeah, this flower. There, here. There. What else? So I think this one also. There. Okay. And also, also here, guys. But I'm gonna add some white here. It look, uh, it makes it look like um, grayish. But I'm going to add some yellow. There. It's gonna make this um, darker. Now guys, I'm adding um, more shades. And I think guys, this tutorial is not really that easy. I'm telling you guys. But um, we can do it. You just have to... You don't have to be afraid guys in trying um, harder, um, harder subjects like this one. To add some shades here. There. Okay, so I think I'm going to add more sh 
um, highlights guys using this brush the number one liner brush and I'm going to use the I'm going to mix the yellow and the white to make a lighter highlights okay uh, let's add some boundaries here of the flower there there and also here guys let's add more well what else do here And of course, here also, guys. There. And some white here. And here also. Here there okay so what else guys I'm going to mix I'm going to find some brown here and let's add the brown here there then I'm going to add some white on the existing brown color here uh, let's add some shades, some lighter shades here. There. And also on the existing orange, guys, with some yellow and white. I'm gonna put some orange here, some shades. I'm going to add some red. there okay I don't know if I'm done guys but I think I am contented with the result that's why I think I am done okay you okay, guys I think I am done with my simple um, painting demonstration how to paint this um, the fodel flowers so if you are painting with me guys just follow what i did on this video and don't be afraid to try guys um we should try it and you will know yourself that you can you can do it okay so good luck guys if you are painting me this time and and i know that you can do it yeah i'm telling you that thank you guys Please hit like, add some comments, and subscribe for more videos in the future. And my advice guys is to keep on painting, keep on practicing. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you know how to, to, to mix the colors. That's why I'm using different colors in my palette. Thank you guys. Have a nice day and God bless you all.